Okay, everyone, it is November 15th, 2011, Tuesday, 8.53 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. Um, I, uh, let's see. I don't really have much really to report. Um, I, I've uh, gotten from different sources that the Wall Street thing is starting to get really nuts. I'm not quite sure how I think or feel about it at all. You know, there there's one of our constitution, constitutional rights, uh, freedom to assemble, uh, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom to protest, um, and uh, it's just getting totally out of hand. Um, I don't know exactly what's going on because I'm not there physically. So I can't really have an opinion on what's going on um, the stuff that I'm hearing is not jiving with me, um, <clears throat> at all, um, but, uh, you know, I'm not there personally to witness any of this, so I really don't know. Um, but, uh, the only thing I really wanted, I want to let you guys know I'm okay, I'm just... Um, weather started to get colder. And so I get tired. Excuse me. I've been getting more tired lately, sluggish, and stuff like that. I think that I, in a former life, was a bar or some critter that hibernates. Because once it starts getting near winter time, I just want to curl up and sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. And, you know, I've been told by doctors, oh, that's seasonal depression. Whatever. I think that everybody, when it comes to the holidays and the seasons changing, they're not really depressed. They're just kind of like, oh, God, please. Ugh, this shit again. Okay. <laughs> you know, and go through go through the motions. Uh, this holiday is actually going to be pretty interesting. My husband has to be out of town on a business trip right around my son's birthday which bums my son out but I said look what we can do is we can either do your like half of your birthday before your daddy leaves out of t to go out of town or and then do the other half when he comes back or we can just wait until he gets back and just have a big old bash all together my son's like oh that one I, he, we can have a big old party when he comes back okay so that's gonna be kind of you know Exciting! Gonna have the kids all to myself for a whole week. <laughs> um, shouldn't be too bad though, because um, I love my kids, and uh, it'll give me time to kind of uh, uh, bond with my children again when I want. Whoa! Um, also, um, one or two. Oh yeah, and Christmas time is always rough, and I think Christmas time is rough on just about anybody. Um, I found, I've noticed, uh, throughout the years that just about anybody I meet, you know, they like Christmas music, but only in small doses, and I think what, why that is, is because they play Christmas music immediately after Thanksgiving. I mean, as soon as, ding, it hits midnight, the day after Thanksgiving, it is nuts. Stupid. Uh, radio station blasts that shit nonstop. And it, you know, I'm the type of person where I like my Christmas music like I like my snow. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and New Year's Eve. That's it. No more. Just enough for me to say, oh, it's white Christmas, how lovely, how cute, how awesome, how retro, whatever, you know. And then snow needs to go away and it needs to get warm again, you know. But since I live in the Northeast, I can't really, um... I can't really decide on the weather. Well, no matter where you where you live, you can't decide on the weather. But since I'm in the Northeast, uh, I'm expecting snow, maybe a blizzard, cold weather, freezing my ass off, and just bleh. So I told my husband to uh, try to get a tea kettle and some coffee mugs because he bought me like a shit ton of hot cocoa. Uh, boxes and um, 
I think I think I have four boxes of hot cocoa. They were on sale, so he couldn't resist. And they're just sitting there in my cupboard. I'm like, hello, I'd like to drink this stuff, but I can't. You know, I mean, I could boil a bunch of water in a pot, I suppose, and but you know, what cup would I drink it out of? So, um, not only that, but uh, I'm expecting to get in my dishwasher, uh, hopefully by the end of this week, and also my crock pot. So I'll be able to actually like start cooking crock pot type meals during the week for the kids because it's easier that way. You just throw the stuff in the pot hit you know turn a dial to you know low or medium or whatever and walk away it's great and then the kids come home and they do their homework and they play a little bit outside and they come come in at like six o'clock sit down eat dinner it's great that way i could sneak some vegetables in too um but yeah just another ramble just another ramble today i things are going really well on my front um, my life is nuts as usual, but it's not as crazy as it as it used to be. Um, now y'all can see a chair behind me. That's wonderful. Um, as opposed to the drum set, which is a little bit further from the, the chair. If I move the webcam, now can you see it? No, you can't. Now you can see it. There it is. That's not mine, it's my husband's. He plays the drums. He tried to get me to play drums on a rock band and I totally suck. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to be what I've always been all my life. And that's just to be an appreci appreciado of music. So, um, but that's about it. So this is the Yippie Chick from Hippie Chicker Bliss, State of Insanity, Country of Chaos. Wishing you all a good week, safe week, happy week. Um,. And yeah, take care of yourselves, take care of your loved ones, your family, your friends, people that you uh, wouldn't know what you'd do without. And um, stay safe, stay strong, and be awesome. Peace.